During this video, trout trends and abundances in Idaho's south fork of the Snake River for 2011 are presented. The stretch of the Snake River from Palisades Dam near the Idaho-Wyoming border to the Henry's Fork over 60 river miles downstream is referred to as the South Fork of the Snake River. Yellowstone cutthroat trout are native to the South Fork Snake River. The cutthroat trout population in the South Fork is currently the strongest population of Yellowstone cutthroat trout in Idaho, but its persistence is threatened. The primary threat to the continued persistence of cutthroat trout in the South Fork is non-native rainbow trout. Rainbow trout hybridize and compete with cutthroat trout. Rainbow cutthroat hybrids are fertile and readily backcross with cutthroat trout. Through hybridization and competition, Cutthroat have been displaced by non-native rainbow trout in numerous drainages across the cutthroat's native range, including the Henry's Fork of the Snake River. Another non-native trout in the South Fork Snake River is brown trout. Brown trout have not been stocked in the South Fork since 1982, but a naturalized population now occurs throughout the river. One of the longest quantitative data sets for fish populations in Idaho is available for the South Fork of the Snake River and spans from 1982 to present. These data from the Upper Rivers Conant area indicate native cutthroat trout dominated fish compositions through the mid-1990s. From the mid-1990s through the early 2000s, an alarming trend became evident. Native cutthroat trout abundance declined while, while rainbow trout increased. This trend prompted a change in management strategies on the South Fork in 2004 aim to restore and conserve the cutthroat trout population. Using a three-pronged approach since 2004, the Idaho Department of Fish and Game Management efforts have included spring freshets, which limit rainbow trout spawning success, tributary fish traps used to protect cutthroat trout spawning areas in important spawning tributaries from rainbow trout invasion, and harvest management where anglers are encouraged to harvest rainbow trout in hybrids. The goal of the spring freshet, tributary protection, and rainbow harvest efforts is the preservation of the genetic integrity and population viability of cutthroat trout in the South Fork. The department regularly monitors fish populations in the South Fork to gauge how efforts of the three-pronged management approach are affecting the populations. This map shows the main stem monitoring reaches of, on the South Fork and the locations of the fish traps on the important spawning tributaries. The Lorenzo and Conant monitoring reaches are sampled often and will be discussed in this presentation. The department uses boat mounted electrofishing gear to capture fish and estimate abundances using a mark recapture survey design. Trout are captured throughout the entire monitoring reach, measured, marked with a temporary mark, and released back to the river. The monitoring reach is again sampled at a later date and the catch during the second run includes both trout with temporary marks that were previously captured and trout without marks that were not captured during the initial event. The ratio of marked to unmarked trout is used to estimate trout abundance. The following is a simple example of how fish population estimates are made using this design. Let's say 100 cutthroat trout were captured on the initial or marking run and marked with a temporary mark. Later, during the recapture event, another 100 cutthroat trout are captured and 10 of these have temporary marks. Since there were 100 cutthroat trout released with marks during the initial event and 10% of the recapture event were marked, then the 100 marked cutthroat represents 10% of the population, or the population estimate is 1,000. In its simplest form, this is how a mark recapture estimator works. The models used to estimate fish abundances in the South Fork are more difficult. These more complicated models correct for sampling bias, which occurs because electrofishing gear captures larger fish more effectively than smaller fish. Correcting for sampling bias allows fisheries personnel to calculate more accurate fish abundance estimates. Trout compositions in the lower South Fork Snake River have been dominated by brown trout since the mid-1990s. This graph displays the fish estimates at the Lorenzo Monitoring Reach from 1987 through 2011 and their corresponding 95% confidence intervals, which help describe how precise these estimates are. Since the three-pronged management approach was initiated in 2004, 
Cutthroat trout abundance estimates represented by orange circles exhibit an increasing trend and are currently at 449 cutthroat trout per mile. Brown trout estimates, represented by brown triangles, increased significantly between 2010 and 2011 from 1,051 to 1,704 brown trout per mile. Rainbow trout are present in the lower South Fork, including the Lorenzo Reach, but their density is too low to calculate an estimate. In 2011, we captured a total of 29 rainbow trout in two river miles. With low cutthroat trout densities at Lorenzo and few rainbow trout present, inferences concerning the management action effects on fish populations in the South Fork are more easily evaluated using fish population estimates from the upper river, where all three trout species are represented. This graph displays all population estimates from the upper river at the Conant Monitoring Site from 1982 through 2011. In 2011, the Yellowstone Cutthroat Trout Estimate, represented by the orange circles, and the Rainbow Trout Estimate, represented by the black squares, are near equal, and are similar to the estimates from 2010. The 2011 estimates are 1,975 cutthroat trout per mile, and 1,919 rainbow trout per mile. Brown trout estimates, represented by the brown triangles, increased between 2010 and 2011 and are currently estimated to be 1,283 brown trout per mile. This is only the second time during the entire data set and the first time since 1986 that total trout abundances have exceeded 5,000 trout per mile at Conan. While the total trout numbers are encouraging, the data set clearly indicates the precarious situation that cutthroat trout restoration is presently in. Cutthroat and rainbow trout abundances will not continue to remain equal for long. Concerted and continued efforts from all parties involved with fisheries management on the South Fork, including fishery biologists, water managers, irrigators, and anglers, will be necessary to ensure the native Yellowstone cutthroat trout population persists. The Yellowstone cutthroat trout in the South Fork provide a unique fishery for native trout in an amazing environment. The uniqueness of the cutthroat trout fishery is put in perspective when you consider the fact that all the states in the Union offer rainbow trout fisheries except Florida. There are few places left where anglers can routinely expect to encounter large Yellowstone cutthroat trout in their native river, and eastern Idaho is home to one of these amazing places in the South Fork of the Snake River. Research indicates Management efforts can be benefit the long-term persistence of Yellowstone cutthroat trout in the South Fork, but only if these efforts are not neglected. Thank you for viewing this video. Please contact the Idle Falls Regional Idle Department of Fish and Game Office if you have questions or if you would like to learn how you can participate in cutthroat trout conservation efforts on the South Fork of the Snake River.